Imagine owning a car that was built in Japan, engineered in America, and sold all over the world. Same pistons, same bearings, same turbo, same everything. Now imagine opening the owner's manual in the US and seeing use 0W20 only. But open that same manual in Australia, Europe, or Southeast Asia, and suddenly it says 5W30. Sometimes even 10W30. So, what's going on here? Did the engine magically change? Did the metal expand or shrink when crossing the ocean? Or is there something far bigger, something hidden, driving these recommendations? Today, we're pulling back the curtain on one of the most misunderstood topics in car maintenance. Why the US pushes thinner oils like 0W20, while the rest of the world sticks with thicker, more protective blends. And trust me, once you understand what's happening behind the scenes, you'll never look at an oil cap the same way again. Insight 1. Oil Policy Secrets. Here's the truth. Almost no manufacturer says out loud, US cars use 0W20 not because the engine needs it, but because federal law demands higher MPG. Automakers in the US must meet strict CAFE fuel economy standards, and even a 0.1 miles per gallon shortfall can cost them millions in fines. So they reduce internal friction using the thinnest oil they can get away with. On EPA test cycles, switching from 5W30 to 0W20 boosts measured fuel economy by 0.5 to 1.0 miles per gallon, enough to hit targets and avoid penalties. But here's the catch. Thinner oil also means thinner protection. Under high heat, towing, heavy traffic, or hard driving, 0W20 can shear down faster than 5W30, leaving bearings, cam lobes, and piston rings more vulnerable. That's why the same engines overseas, Japan, Europe, Australia, often run 5W30 or 5W40, where durability matters more than squeezing out microscopic fuel economy gains. A retired Toyota engineer said it best, the oil choice isn't always engineering, sometimes it's paperwork. So why call these engines identical when they're treated so differently worldwide? Stick around, because this is where the story gets even more interesting. Insight 2. Engineering tolerances. Here's where things get technical, but extremely important. Every engine is built with what engineers call tolerances. The tiny gaps between moving parts like bearings, piston rings, cam lobes, and the crankshaft. These spaces determine how much oil is needed to form a protective film. Modern engines designed for efficiency often use tighter tolerances, meaning the internal gaps are smaller. Thinner oils like 0W20 can slip into those tight spaces quickly, reducing drag and improving fuel economy. That's great for emissions tests, but only in controlled, moderate conditions. However, the story changes under real-world heat, load, and mileage. As engines age, tolerances loosen naturally due to wear. Those tiny gaps grow larger. And once that happens, ultra-thin oil can struggle to maintain a protective film, especially at high temperatures. That's when you start seeing increased noise, oil consumption, and long-term wear. This is why many international markets recommend 5W30 or 5W40 for the same engines. The thicker oil better fills those tolerances under heat, providing stronger cushioning between metal parts. In simple terms, thin oil fits new tolerances. Thicker oil protects aging tolerances. And that's a major reason oil recommendations shift between countries and between new and high mileage engines. Insight 3. Oil Film Science Let's break down one of the most misunderstood parts of motor oil. Those numbers on the bottle. When you see 0W20, the 0W describes how the oil behaves in cold conditions. The W stands for winter, and the lower that number is, the easier the oil flows when your engine is cold. That's great for freezing climates, because the faster oil circulates at startup, the less metal-on-metal -metal contact your engine experiences. The 20 represents the oil's thickness once the engine reaches full operating temperature. In other words, how well the oil maintains a protective film when everything is hot. Now compare it to 5W30. It's slightly thicker during cold starts, but once hot, 
It's much more viscous than Zero W20, providing a stronger, more stable oil film under heat, pressure, towing, high-speed driving, or long highway runs. Here's the bottom line. Zero W20 focuses on cold start flow and fuel efficiency. 5W30 focuses on heat resistance, protection, and longevity. So when identical engines use different oils across different countries, it's because their priorities shift from regulatory MPG targets to real-world durability. Insight 4. EPA Certification Lock Here's a little-known reality that explains why U.S. oil recommendations rarely change. Once a car is submitted to the EPA for fuel economy testing, the oil used in that test becomes the official oil for that engine in the American market. It's essentially locked in place. If a manufacturer tested the engine with 0W20 and earned its MPG rating with that oil, that rating is tied to the vehicle's identity. Changing the recommended oil later, say, switching to 5W30 for better long-term protection, would require expensive retesting, new paperwork, and revised emissions documentation. Because of this, even when real-world conditions suggest thicker oil may protect better, especially in hotter states or as engines age, the manufacturer stays committed to the oil initially used during certification. Not because it's ideal everywhere, but because their EPA numbers depend on it. This certification lock doesn't exist in most international markets, which is why the same engines abroad are free to run 5W30 or 5W40 without any conflict. Insight 5. The Heat Stress Reality Here's a truth most drivers never hear. Heat is the number one enemy of thin oil, and the U.S. has some of the most extreme temperature swings on the planet. A 0W20 oil may perform perfectly in states like Minnesota or Wisconsin, where winter temperatures regularly drop below minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit. But the story changes fast in hotter regions. In places like Arizona, Nevada, and Texas, summer road temperatures often exceed 140 degrees Fahrenheit, and ambient air temperatures sit at 105 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit for hours. Under those conditions, engine oil can easily reach 230 to 260 degrees Fahrenheit, and ultra-thin oils begin to shear, thinning far beyond their rated viscosity. Once that happens, the protective film between metal parts weakens, increasing wear on bearings, rings, and timing components. This is why mechanics in hot states see more oil consumption and overheating complaints in engines running 0W20. Meanwhile, international markets with consistently high temperatures, such as the Middle East, Southeast Asia, and Australia, default to 5W30 or 5W40, which maintain viscosity above 250 degrees Fahrenheit and provide far stronger high heat protection. In short, America's temperature map alone proves why one oil cannot realistically fit all climates. If this insight helped you understand engine protection better, hit like and subscribe. There's even more eye-opening information coming up next. Insight 6. The Warranty Truth. This is the part that makes a lot of drivers nervous. The moment someone mentions switching from 0W20 to 5W30, the first question is always the same. Will this void my warranty? Here's the reality backed by U.S. federal law. The Magnuson Moss Warranty Act clearly states that a manufacturer cannot deny your warranty unless they can prove the oil caused the failure. Not might have, not could have. They must show direct cause. That means if you use a high-quality, fully synthetic 5W30 that meets the required specs, APISP, ILSA CGF6, or your vehicle's exact approval, the warranty legally remains intact. In fact, some OEM service bulletins openly note that 5W30 may be used when 0W20 is unavailable, as long as it meets the same certification standards. That's your built-in safety valve. Many experienced mechanics, especially in hotter states, actually encourage switching to 5W30 after 60,000 to 80,000 miles to compensate for wear, heat, and aging tolerances. It's not breaking rules. It's not voiding anything. It's simply choosing oil based on real-world conditions, not controlled EPA test lab conditions. Insight 7. 
The real world wear problem. On paper, Zero W20 looks efficient, clean, and modern. But in the real world, engines don't live in controlled lab conditions. They face heat, load, idling, dust, and aging components every single day. As an engine racks up miles, its internal clearances naturally widen. Bearings loosen, piston rings lose tension, and timing chains stretch. Once those tolerances open up, ultra-thin oil struggles to maintain the protective film needed to prevent metal-on-metal -metal contact. Mechanics regularly see the effects after 80,000 to 120,000 miles. Increased oil consumption, ticking noises when hot, timing chain wear, and varnish buildup. Issues far more common in engines running thin oils long term. A worn engine simply needs a thicker film to cushion those expanded gaps, especially under heat and load. This is exactly why the same engines overseas are paired with 5W30 or 5W40 as they age. These oils maintain stronger viscosity at high temperatures, offering better protection for engines with real-world wear. In daily driving, not lab testing, heat, mileage, and mechanical aging matter far more than squeezing out a fraction of an MPG. Insight 8. The Chemistry Advantage. Here's a truth that surprises even seasoned mechanics. The chemistry inside the oil matters more than the viscosity on the label. Those numbers, 0W20, 5W30, only tell part of the story. What truly determines how well an oil protects your engine is the additive package blended into it. Two oils with the same viscosity can behave completely differently depending on their detergents, anti-wear agents, friction modifiers, and base oil structure. High-quality synthetics use advanced detergents to fight sludge, elevated ZDDP levels for wear protection, and premium base stocks like PAO or Ester, which maintain film strength under extreme heat. That's why a top-tier Ester-based 0W20 can outperform a bargain conventional 5W30 in durability, cleanliness, and thermal stability. The formulation simply gives it stronger resilience when the engine demands maximum protection. Lubrication experts, including certified tribologists like Lexay Jr., regularly highlight that oil quality often outweighs oil thickness. A well-engineered synthetic with robust high-temperature stability can deliver better real-world protection than moving up a grade. Insight 9. Lab test findings. When you move past theory and look at actual engines, the difference between 0W20 and 5W30 becomes impossible to ignore. Take two identical Toyota Camrys with the 2.5-liter 2ARFE engine. Run side-by-side -side for 100,000 miles in the hot southern U.S., the 0W20 car delivered a small fuel economy bump of about 0.7 miles per gallon, but oil analysis labs showed the 5W30 engine had 40% lower wear metals, and its internals stayed noticeably cleaner. The 0W20 engine even showed light varnish under the valve cover, while the 5W30 unit remained spotless. A second real-world test on Honda's 1.5-liter turbo L15B7 told the same story. Engines running 0W20 experienced higher oil consumption and increased turbo bearing wear. After switching to 5W30, consumption dropped by roughly 30%, and wear metals fell nearly 50% especially at oil temperatures above 230 degrees Fahrenheit where turbos work hardest. What makes this even more telling is that Honda recommends 5W30 for the same engine in markets outside the US. Different oil, same engine. Real world data doesn't lie. Insight 10. Mechanics secret choice. If you want to know which oil protects an engine long term, look at what veteran mechanics use themselves. Across thousands of shops, the quiet preference is the same. 5W30 once an engine passes 60,000 miles, especially in hot regions. Mechanics routinely see the downsides of running thin oil too long. Timing chain wear, higher oil consumption, bearing scoring, and varnish buildup. Engines regularly hit oil temperatures of 230 to 260 degrees Fahrenheit during highway driving, towing, or in states like Arizona, Texas, and Nevada. At these temperatures, 0W20 can shear and lose viscosity rapidly, weakening its protective film. A slightly thicker oil stays stable under heat and maintains proper lubrication. 
owner's manuals are written to meet regulatory MPG targets. Mechanics base their choices on decades of teardown experience. Their oil preference reflects what survives real-world conditions, not what performs on a lab test cycle. Insight 11. Smart Oil Strategy A smart oil strategy considers climate, mileage, driving style, engine design, and oil quality, not just the number on the cap. In cold northern states, 0W20 flows quickly in sub-zero starts. But in southern regions with pavement temperatures near 140 degrees Fahrenheit and oil temperatures above 230 degrees Fahrenheit, 5W30 or 5W40 provide better high heat protection. Turbocharged engines demand stronger film strength under boost, which thicker oils offer more reliably. This is why many markets outside the US, especially Europe and Asia, pair small turbos with 5W30 from the factory. As engines age and internal clearances widen, thicker oil helps maintain proper lubrication. Additive quality matters too. Synthetics with strong detergents, higher ZDDP, and PAO or ester bases resist breakdown far better than cheap blends. Smart oil selection adapts with the engine's life and driving environment. It's a strategy built for longevity, not just fuel economy compliance. If this breakdown opened your eyes to what really happens inside your engine, hit the like button and make sure you subscribe for more real mechanic level insights that manufacturers never mention. And I want to hear from you. What oil are you running right now? 0W20, 5W30 or something heavier? Drop your answer in the comments and help other drivers make smarter choices. Before you go, don't miss our video on the reset tricks that fix 95% of your car problems. It's packed with simple, powerful tips that can transform how your car runs.